Now you notice that I typed in file space star or a file space asterisk in that last example. The asterisk is what I call an example of a wildcard character. So what is a wildcard and what do we use them for? Well, when we're using the shell, and in fact many other types of programs, it is possible to specify that we want to perform an action on a group of files. In the previous example I said file space asterisk, meaning that I actually wanted to perform my file type analysis on a group of files. Which group? Well, all the files in that particular directory. The asterisk was a wildcard that I used for that purpose. And the wildcard characters that we have available are the following. The asterisk, which matches any characters or any collection of characters in a file name. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's an example, star.txt or mark.star or a star b. Let me show you examples of those in use. Here we are back at my prompt and I type in ls. Now what if I wanted to say show me all the files that have a t in them. This is how I might do it. ls star t star. And what that will do when I run it, it will show me the list of all the names where the name has a t in the name somewhere. Let's have a look. And there they are, another.txt, user.list, notice the t can be at the end. It's probably a little bit of a confusing example, let's try a simpler one, ls um, b star. Find me all the files that start with a b. In other words, find me all the file names that have a b at the beginning and then anything, the wildcard is used to rep represent the term anything, so b anything. And how many are there? Well, there's just one. In fact, I could just type ls space star, which lists me every single thing in this directory. Now, is that any different to just ls with no options whatsoever? Yes, it is different. ls with no options does that. It lists me the six files and directories in this directory. ls space star is like performing an ls operation on each of the files and directories in this directory. How is that different? Let's have a look. Well, it's done an ls on the five files in this directory and it's also done an ls on the one subdirectory, subdir1, which is in this directory as well. So the contents of subdir1 also get listed. I'll change into another directory and give you some more examples. Here I am in the uh, public HTML trip directory again. Let's try ls, and I'm going to use the minus c option to put them in columns, star.html, and then I get all the HTML files, and only the HTML files. Or I could say ls j, oh, jj star, find me everything that begins with jj. Windows and DOS both use the asterisk character in the same way. But it's slightly different in Unix. Only slightly, but it is different. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We've already seen that it's possible to use the asterisk anywhere in a file name. There's another difference. What would this do in Windows? ls star dot star. And the answer is it would list you everything. Everything in the directory. Everything in the folder. Well, let's have a look at what everything in the folder is first by using ls. Well, let's try it again using ls minus c. Okay, that's everything in the folder. Now let's try ls again with the minus c option, star dot star. Now, if you were a Windows person, you'd expect to see everything. Let's try that. Now, that's certainly not as much things as we had before. Notice that we don't have set1 anymore, and we don't have fp class. Why not? Can you see what's going on? What does star dot star list us? Well, it actually lists everything that has a dot in it. So the output of the ls command is only the files, named, the files whose names have a dot in them. If I wanted to list absolutely everything, then I will, well, I'd do this, minus c star but that will list not just the files in this directory, but it will also list all the files in all the subdirectories, and there's a great deal of them. I'll do it anyway. As you can see, it's a big list. What I really would want to do is ls 
sorry, ls minus c, and then use another option, minus d of star, and that, the minus d option means if you encounter a directory, don't list the contents of the directory, only list the directory itself. So that gives me, again, exactly what I would have got if I'd just done an ls minus c. The star means match everything. 